great. So while Jack is uh, at football camp, we're trying out a new DI. Yeah, we haven't been down here to the Provo one in probably over a year. Yeah, it's a long way from our house, but I'm hoping there's some decent stuff. Sometimes you just get like college kid junk, so we'll yeah. see what they got. What they have here is tonnage, almost too much to look at in two or three passes. Which you find there? Oh, nice. Every time I watch the footage, I'm like, oh, I missed that. Oh, I missed that. I should have grabbed that. These butter bells without. Yeah. Where's the bottom? I feel like this for $1.50. You put a light bulb in it and maybe you put a shade on top. It's cute. <laughs> That's cool. Milk glass? It was, I don't think Is it, it works. Fenton? I don't, I think it's seized up. Oh, it just turned. Is it Fenton? I, know. I don't know. Doesn't say. Need a mug? They got mugs. Oh, look at this. It's the right coloring for right now. The award for best grader design goes to uh, this grader here. Muddler, coming home with me. These salt and pepper shakers were a little too modern, but loved this little scale. Even though it's plastic, I still like how small it is in the shape. Oh, check out that brass candlestick there. Two bucks. Oh, you know you love busts. Those are bookends. I've actually purchased these before. Those same ones? Yeah. They're going home with me. <laughs> is that really in a song? What? I love the gap between your teeth. This is kind of cool. I think we could paint that. It's actual wood. It's not resin, it's yeah. carved wood. I love this little cow. What is it? I don't know, but you could put stuff in it. Always buy cats. The cat people will show up. It's not Christmas, but what do you think of these? There's two candlesticks. You think painted? There are two bucks each. Pretty ugly, right? But I noticed it was a little rusty down here. And so I checked the back, there's like a hole. So if you take out all these flowers, this is gonna make a cute little planter. I'll probably paint it up. So I don't think this is really like, I don't like the paint job on it, but if I paint this with the copper patina with a little bit of the white wax, this is gonna look awesome. I was walking past the furniture and I passed this desk table situation with the drawers in it. I really liked the shape of it and had to do a double take at the price. Whoever donated it said that it should be worth a lot, a lot of money and the thrift store had it marked as 600 bucks. So this is my score from the free yard sale. Cute little candy dish, one of my favorite styles. And then this great like vase with a bird on it. I think it'll be fun painted. So if you guys remember, this is from the thrift haul and it's got like an okay picture, but I wanted to kind of upgrade it a little bit. And so I have this decoupage paper that isn't quite big enough to fit the space. So I'm gonna show you how to cut the decoupage paper out to make it fit. You just use like an artist brush. I've got the turquoise iris favorite, part of the magic pack. Then you can dip it into water. You just get the paper wet and you can kind of rip it to get like an organic line. So I'm just gonna trace where I wanna cut out my flowers and then that way I won't have like a weird line on top for where the decoupage paper runs out of space. Normally you can do it like that, but apparently because this has so much ink on this particular one. It's like resisting the water. It works fine on this one, but it's not working on that one. So I'm just gonna cut it out. Now I've cut this, I had to trim off some of the sides and I'm gonna paint everything white, frame and all. Then I'm gonna decide what to do to blend this in. And then I will come and do some decorative finishes to the frame. Whenever I decoupage, I like to start with a white base. So I'm gonna be using Cottage Colors in white linen just to give this entire thing a white base. I will put more colors over the frame later, but it's a good starting point. Next, I'm just dry brushing some frames and adding some texture to some items that we already painted on our Saturday night thrift haul. We also have some candlesticks that I felt like just needed a little extra, some white stripes and a little detail painting. The nice thing is that once I'm all done, I don't have to put a sealer on it. So my projects finish much faster. While these are drying, I'm gonna get started on my candlesticks. I'm gonna do a base coat of Bohemian Blue. It's not a color I use a lot, but I think it's gonna work well with these.
So while I have this bohemian blue out, I'm gonna go ahead and paint this a base color on my giant clock here. I have no idea where this clock is headed design-wise, but a dark base is always a good place to start. You might notice chunks flying off. That's because this was almost completely solid and I added water to reconstitute it and it's worked pretty good. Other than a few chunks. Oop. I want to do kind of a Gustavian layered finish and I was like, what would happen if I mixed Bohemian Blue with Cottage Colors? I don't actually know, but I'm going to do about four parts cottage color to one part, very chunky old bohemian blue. Try to create a lighter shade, stipple it on, and then maybe finish with a white dry brush. Anyways, we're gonna see what happens. It's all water-based, so it should mix together well. If it doesn't, well, there we go. This is what the color is. I think this is gonna be really pretty, stippled on top and done like a kind of a layered finish. I might kind of blot it off, I think. All right, let's see what happens. I'm going to blot this off, kind of give it a worn look, and I might wet distress it. Some of the original tones are coming back, which I like. Stay with me, people. It's going to be good, I promise. Well, I guess I can't promise that, but I think it's going to be good. All right, this is where we're at. Victim numero dos. All right, the next step on the clock that I'm gonna do is just a wet distress. I don't think I'm gonna do it on the candlesticks, but there's some areas that I wanna bring out this darker bohemian blue. I'm going to hit these areas and pull it back before it dries all the way with a little wet distress. Okay, I'm putting on one more layer. I've got my white linen and I'm just lightly dry brushing. And as I dry brush, I'm coming back with my same damp rag that I wet stressed with and pulling some of it off. Because the thing with these Gustavian finishes is you just want it to be very lightly layered and time worn. So you just got to be delicate. It's not as like chippy as a chippy finish, but it's also not a blended finish. It's like somewhere in between. Using Golden Ticket just to kind of color in these numbers and give them a little bit of differentiation. It's kind of a, like not super thick. So I'll see if I do more coats or if I just leave the color peeking through underneath. I think it's a really soft look. If you wanted a darker gold, you could use Golden Rule Wax, but I'm thinking this soft gold will work just great. Now I'm just gonna do the same look and put some gold on these candlesticks. So back to our white frame situation. I'm going to decoupage this on, and then I'm gonna attempt to paint the background and make it look good. Wish me luck. You want a white background to start with because it'll make your decoupage paper brighter. I'm putting on a coat of DIY's liquid patina in clear. And that will fold my piece down. Now I'm just gonna liquid patina over the top and then we'll let it dry completely. If it gets a few wrinkles, don't worry because it will suck them down as it dries. So make sure you use enough liquid patina to really saturate it. While that's drying, I'm gonna go ahead and get started painting the frame. I've decided to use my Bohemian Blue mixture since I have quite a bit of it left. And I'm gonna come over the top of the white with this.
candlesticks are all the way dry. And we're just gonna bring back some of that black that was underneath along the edges. These need a little bit of distress, so I'm just gonna distress them to look like this. Just a little bit, not a lot. Just hitting the high spots and along the edge. I realize since I'm filming myself and Zeb's at the church that you guys haven't seen my face the whole time I've been doing this. Um, the next step is going to be dark wax. These are just a little bit too pristine for me, so I got the Little Edge by Turquoise Iris. You could also use a stencil brush or whatever, but I just like to do a little bit of dark wax at a time, and then I wipe it back, and then these will be finished. So I'm just going to take my brush and add some dark wax in the details, and then I'm just going to take a rag and wipe it back, and it's just going to be a soft dark wax. Nothing crazy. Okay, so I kind of skipped a step, but off camera, I just took little black dress on my brush and I just stippled over the white down onto the paper to try to blend it in so that way it wouldn't be so crazy. And then I'm going to take an artist brush and I'm going to neatly paint that black. And then I think that that will be like a really good mix. I thought I filmed it, but the camera wasn't filming, it died. But anyways, that's what I did. So it's kind of important to, instead of brushing, to stipple it, to build a little texture, because otherwise it's going to look like you brushed the edge on, if that makes sense. And be sure to go all the way around the edge to blend it in. Okay, so now I'm just gonna distress the frame and bring back some of the dark detail, some of the white detail, and give it a little age. I've distressed the frame. I'm going to distress the decoupage paper a little bit, and then I will just seal the inside. This doesn't need to be sealed because the cottage color has enough sealer in it that it's good to go, but I will put another coat inside. All right, more liquid patina just inside on the decoupage paper and this black paint. Okay, I decided one more thing. I'm gonna use some more dark wax to darken this frame up so it's not such a contrast between the light blue and the black in the middle. Same as the last few projects, just getting in the details and then wiping back. Stay tuned to the end of this video so you can see all of the thrift makeovers, what they turned into, as well as Zeb, what are you gonna be doing at the end of this video? Just a little bit of painting. A little bit high in the sky? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we are busy working on the church nonstop. We appreciate your support. If you haven't done so, please hit that subscribe and the notifications bell so you never miss a video. If you wanna shop the paint and products used today, visit jamierayvintage.com. And if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more. DIY. <laughs>